Hey guys, it's Will from Test, and I'm here at Maker Faire 2013 in the ShopBot booth, uh, where you guys have just announced a brand new product. Yeah, this is our new handy bot. Uh, it's a new category of tools for us, a new category of tools for everyone, actually, we hope. We're calling it a universal digital power tool, um, uh, or a smart power tool. So what it does, the way this works is, uh, instead of the traditional CNC paradigm of putting a piece of material onto your machine, uh, this is putting your machine onto a piece of material. And you can register it, so you can work within its native six by eight work area, or you can uh, create an infinitely large work area just by uh, registering. We have some automated registration, and we have manual registration as well. So is it is it three axis or just two axis? It's three axis, but the controller is six axis, so we have, um, plans to increase the number of uh, motion control axes. Fantastic, so I mean it looks like this It looks like this is something that should have existed before, but I guess it hasn't. I mean you basically just have a, a router on a, on a three axis CNC machine, right? That's right, that's, that's, it, is, it is that. It uses the same technology, the same components that our previous tools uh, use, the same stuff we've been doing for 15 years or so. Uh, what's different about this is again that it cuts through the bottom, so instead of, um, having to bring your work to the machine, you bring your machine to the work, the router is cutting through the bottom, which allows you to do some things that previously you couldn't do. Working on walls that are static, working on ceilings, um, working on fixed panes of glass, lots of things that you couldn't do before. So uh, I assume since you're using a normal router, you can use any kind of bits that will work in, the, in that router? Anything with a quarter inch shank or an eighth inch shank. So then, what's what's the software side of this when you're when you're building your design? Is it just building out you know Illustrator type files, or can you do CAD stuff for the whole nine yards? You can do the whole nine yards in the traditional CNC paradigm. You can um, design in any CAD software that you're comfortable with, whether it's 2D Illustrator all the way up to SolidWorks, any of that. Uh, what we hope that is new about this is that you don't need to know CAD or CAM. We'll have an application environment which is open to uh, a community of developers where they will be uh, developing applications that are job specific, task specific. Um, so an end user, if they can pick from a list and make a few adjustments, perhaps the application is uh, carving text, they would choose the text carving application, make some adjustments, what is the text say, what is the typeface, what is the size, what is the depth. If they can make those simple choices off of their smartphone or other enabled device, they can then send those files to the machine, and if they can push a green button, they can do CNC. Makes it sound really easy. It does. Well, that's our plan. Fantastic, and what is this out, and when, how much will it cost? Uh, we're gonna start uh, launching through a crowdfunding campaign beginning uh, uh, the uh, first week of June and uh, it'll be 2,500 for early adopters, and our plan is that if we can get enough interest and volume, we can do some volume buying and drive that price down. So 2,500 is our starting figure. Fantastic, thank you so much. We'll have more from Maker Faire. Until the next time, see you guys later.